Again, if you're just now joining us, we did have a scrub for the Crew 10 launch today. Once again, the vehicle and the crew are safe and healthy. The scrub was called for a ground side issue with the uh, hydraulic system. Um, and as we were working through each one of those checks, we did notice that there was an issue with the hydraulic system on the clamp arm. Unfortunately, around, I believe, T minus 45, 45 minutes so. is when they made the official call and that we can we can make a call in time uh, to prevent uh, going through unnecessary. Those clamp arms are on the transporter erector that the Falcon 9 is on top of, and they are located around the through whatever that issue, that root cause of that issue is to make sure that when we do go for launch, those clamp arms will fully open and will clear the way for the related to the clamp arm, which is holding there are two clamp arms holding the Falcon 9 rock. And Dragon SpaceX hatches open, so we'll be handing you off to the closeout team for egress. Sorry we couldn't get you off today, but we'll speak to you soon and look forward to trying it again. They're very familiar with each other. Um, and as Anna, you were mentioning, there's a lot of teams involved uh, with a launch like this. Uh, several teams helping to make a, a crew launch like this happen. The closeout team working with the crew side by side. Uh, obviously, the crew itself. Um, the uh, when every every single one of those teams is ready to go. Yeah, but we also have the SpaceX Mission Control here in Hawthorne, as well as NASA's Mission Control team. Um, for and we now have one of the crew members of Crew 10 out of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft, another following right behind. And it looks like those are the two mission specialists for Crew 10. So JAXA astronaut Takuya Onishi and Ross Cosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov. They are now safely out of the Dragon spacecraft, followed there by NASA astronaut Nicole Ayers. And then last but not least, making her way out of the Dragon spacecraft is NASA astronaut Anne McLean. It looks like they're now making their way down the crew access arm, well away from the spacecraft that they just The closeout team made their way back. They then went up to the crew access arm and began safing the hatch to then egress the crew, the crew 10 crew. With the launch pad 39, 39A Falcon 9 hold down clamp arm system, the system that uh, holds the rocket to the pad. It was a quintessential Florida launch. Isolated. Yeah. And it's so natural. Those sea oats waving in the breeze between the beach and the beach house. You know, I actually use those images that they had when they were out there earlier this week and, and get into a, a relaxing kind of state of state of mind. That's the one thing about the ocean, right? There's always just something so relaxing about looking at the ocean.